Okay. Just me? Just yeah. you. Just you. Why just me? Well, what was that again? I missed it. Is it NICH? The Bank of America oh, is yes. trespassing no, this person from their establishments. So they get to ruin our economy as much as they want, but they can kick a... Uh, isn't he on public domain right here? The sidewalk public? And you guys are just supporting the corporate giant by not going after the real criminals. What, what did he do? I didn't do anything. Doesn't the Bank of America have to have some kind of a rationale for uh, giving it? Uh, so, so, you can do whatever you want with it. Does it say he can't go inside the building? Is that what it says? Correct. He cannot go in Bank of America. Okay. All right. Legally, I do not acknowledge that that order exists. You understand that if you do, then you'd be subject to arrest, okay? I don't acknowledge anything. I didn't sign anything. I don't acknowledge it. That was just you? What yeah, that's just, just me. You? What did you do? Ooh, um, you must be bad. I didn't do anything. I have not broken any laws. You've been outside the whole time, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've been outside. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Most of these people here have been here longer than I have. Yeah. And then as soon as I show up, the Olympic Police Department, who we're very thankful for protecting us, uh, show up and apparently now I'm... The, the corporations have more power than you. That's yeah, what it is. Apparently, yeah. And apparently the police aren't really working for the people. They're working for the corporation. Excuse me, I'd like to report a crime. In progress. Uh, tax evasion. In pro people are illegally getting kicked out of their homes and you guys are here instead. Please, please arrest the criminals. We're trying to save your jobs, you guys. Yeah! Did you know that college tuition prices are going up by 11% every year? Do you have kids you're sending through college? Or are you going to send them to the military because that's the only option?
based on feelings of, well, it doesn't matter what I do because it does matter what I do. And so it matters very much where I put my money and my energy because when the money goes to them, they make profit and the people suffer. No more. That's right. All right. Look at all of this stuff. 
that I have now. These fat cats are just like really, really helping me out. And he says, oh, I'm so glad to hear that things are working out so well. Do you want to fly with me like we used to? Just like free, soaring through the sky? The bald eagle says, well, I don't know. You know, I have a meeting with the fat cats later today. You know, like I have all this stuff. He's going to watch my stuff. And the, the dove says, oh, come on. You're free. You don't need that shit. You're the bald eagle. Come fly with me. The bald eagle stretches his wings. All the fat cats took them and made all these soups out of them, you know? And they stuffed all their chairs and their pillows. And so the bald eagle starts to fly. He says, I can't fly. I don't have my feathers anymore. But the dove says, bald eagle, everybody in this forest wants you to fly. We'll help you. But first, we need you to leave these fat cats behind and tell them to get the fuck out of the forest. <laughs> and so the bald eagle says, well, but they've given me all this stuff. How can I turn my back on them? He says, you're not turning your back on anyone but yourself by hanging out with these fat cats. <coughs> so the fat cats came into the forest that day. And somebody, maybe, maybe the rat, gave them a uh, premonition that this was not going to be any old meeting. They came in and they brought, oh my god, so many gifts for this bald eagle. Like portraits of this bald eagle looking so noble soaring through the sky. And all this just like, oh my god, wow, they were just like worshiping this bald eagle with all this stuff. The bald eagle sat there and was being tempted by all of these material possessions, all of this wealth. He said to his fat cats, he said, I've had enough of it. I can not fly. Yeah, I can't fly. <laughs> that ball, not just in my head, but my wings. I can no longer <coughs> soar through the skies. I used to be free. I used to be a beacon of freedom, but now I have given all of that to you. And in return, I have what? Shiny stuff? No more. Get out of this forest. The fat cats say, we don't want to leave. This is our forest now. You made a promise to us. You made a deal. And then in comes the dove. And the dove brings all of the forest friends, the squirrels, and the raccoon, and the porcupine, and the possum, and they say, this forest is not a plutocracy. This forest is a democracy. And we vote you, fat cats, out of here. And they leave. And the fat cats leave. And everybody comes to Bald Eagle. And they have all these different leaves from all the different trees in the forest. And they say, here, remember where we come from. Yeah. And so together, all the animals of the forest, they take these leaves onto his wings hey, and these the magnificent the wings of ferns and maples, oak. And together, the bald eagle with wings made of leaves and the dove, the bird of peace, once again soar through the wide open sky. All right. You're not being protected by the police officers. Yeah, They're protecting the bank. I know. Who's yeah. side are you? Yeah. Any, any you are? private location has the right to tell anybody they want. Yeah. They, have, they, they have the right to bankrupt the economy, too? They have the right to bankrupt the economy? You guys did a great job today. Thank you for protecting us. Thanks for being on our side. Just
this. Let's show them on the street how we dance in a little bit. This is Strife of Thawcrap Collective, and I'm going to be spitting some uh, words of encouragement and uh, hopefully give us some self-esteem to stand up for ourselves and people's rights in the face of uh, greedy bankers. Bank of America being one of the worst of the worst, and uh, yeah, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain over there. The cops are more afraid of you than you are of them, trust me. Okay. So, um, I came up with this little uh, slogan earlier today. Peace without justice is tyranny. Neutrality in the face of oppression is complicity. And hope without action is nothing but apathy. Right now, we may, we may not have it all together, but together we can have it all. If we got enough people out here, so tell all your friends, this is going to be a recurring theme. We're going to be doing this a lot, all the time. We won't go away. We will not go away, no matter what the cops try to scare us with. All right. So, I have a little poem. I would like to spit it here. And uh, just look at history, exactly what that man said. Okay. So let's look at this. No time to swallow pride, no time for uncertainty. Haul if you want to ride, right now we need urgency. It's non-fiction, we're in a state of emergency. I shot Reagan, now the state's breaking away. Mercy me, a hearse is free. Make the cops feel the bit of taste of defeat. Got a comrade locked, set of free. Or you'll pay and bleed over this bit of beef. Give bigger thieves a taste of their own medicine. Boil down this repressiveness. Give us a place of the feast and we'll feed you poisonous pestilence. Expose CEOs and presidents, we on the precipice. Overthrow decadence they represent. A lifestyle of lackluster, loveless possessiveness, luckless hesitance means you resent this whole system's more like a stick-up, a sick-ass fist-fuck designed to keep us on back so we can't get bucks. Don't just duck and mistrust, neighbors, it's time to get up, get up, door to door, sleep cure remedies, get me fed up, it's all a setup. Fool's faith in nations that pull gauges on dissidents, participation in vampiric systems that preys on indifference. Election year business is a cocoon chrysalis, voting's a temporary fixative. Four years of Novocaine won't get rid of this gangrenous sickness. Eight years of stab wound, CIA hitless. Now watch your back before they grab you with the quickness. Suck the cash flow from the veins of the working poor. They have you by the neck, think it's about time to step and break the chains. The smell of the gas is growing rank, it's plain to see. Our democracy has gotten rotten down to the core obnoxiously. A philosophy of me, me, me. Profit from pain and non-stop greed has spread across this land. Part of the bank's growing plans to meet state surveillance demands to consolidate more power into fewer and fewer hands. Swallow little fish, turn big fish, merge than grandstand. So yeah, yeah. our basic message, feed the, feed the poor and starve the rich. That's something I can get behind, right? So it's called getting your just desserts. Since my boss won't pay me what my work's worth, I'll let the rich eat my lead. Let them suffer for every baby the system left unfed. Let the rich feel my lead. Let them bleed for their excess. The modern day slavery economics got us bled. Backing away from their promises, the same thing. Let them drink from the toilets we clean daily. Let them die in the sweatshop sewing socks till they vomit and go crazy. Maybe once they finally get a taste and see if it's like drinking from dirty drains, maybe they'll flinch when they find out what it feels to experience pain. Not be spoiled and pampered by ill-gotten gains. Giving everything until conceited, pompous, and vain. Don't make me start dropping names, Bank of America. Let the rich live for a day in our shoes and see if they like being told what to do. Oh. <laughs> 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 
That's the sound of the beast. Yeah, baby. There can never really be justice on stolen land, people. That's what we gotta take it back. Historical context is liberating. Alright, so someone else get on this and say some stuff that's a little less militant so they don't try to come arrest us all. <laughs>